Hi, I'm Pat Warner. I'm ADM manager for Renault, uh, Renault Sport Formula One team. So we use a, a number of SLA saddle jigs to create our exhaust system. Each segment is, is, is bent, placed in a jig, welded, and then the next segment's added with another jig, another jig, another jig. So there's quite an array of jigs to make one exhaust system. Um, they're quite a complicated piece of welding and every branch has to be exactly the same in its volume for engine tune. Um, so they're, they're quite a complex thing, but being able to make all the jigs in one piece in one time, uh, in one machine at once without having to keep, take a bit of metal out, put a bit of metal in, is an obvious advantage to us. And the materials are, are plenty good enough for that. Having said that, the ends of this exhaust system are 3D printed in a metal, so it, it, it's also showing the power as well. Well, traditionally that would require a, a CNC machine or, or someone assembling parts that were pre-machined or pre-cut. Um, so in time respective, I can do all 15 jigs overnight compared to another machine taking a couple of days or a guy taking a week. Um, so from that saving alone, it, it's worth us. We're more of a, a time orientated industry than, than cost. Although the, the overall thing is to try and reduce the cost of Formula One, our overall target is time to market or time to our market. Um, getting parts ready for the next race and that can mean making decisions on Thursday for what's going to happen on Sunday in another continent. Our transmission housing is a titanium casting. Um, to us it makes sense to bring the pattern manufacturer of that in-house. Um, A because it reduces costs significantly and B because it gives us better process control. So we took a lot of time understanding what the foundry requirements were from a pattern and making the best possible pattern for the foundry. Um, over the years that's come with some resistance from the foundry because they want to sell us a pattern. It usually ends up with the foundry coming back to us and asking if they can buy patterns from us for their other customers because we do a rather exceptionally good job at it. Um, so that is a casting pattern for that casting. Um, it's in its pre-machined form is a 20 kilo titanium casting which sounds like an awful lot um, it is quite heavy but it has a significant job to do because it is literally the rear end of the car the suspension comes straight off it the rear wings hang off it everything goes all the loads pass through that casing to the engine to the chassis it's an integral member of the chassis um, but wall thicknesses are down to a millimeter a millimeter and a half um, it's very thin in this wall, it's very high strength, um, it's very high detail um, and we really couldn't produce a casting of that detail without additive. And at this point there's nothing capable of making that directly an additive and keeping the strength and the detail and the surface requirements that we have. So it's, it's been a very good fit for us in, in, in this sort of manufacture. It's printed in two parts and assembled, um, so there are two prints of 35 hours, thereabouts. Um, if we start, they usually kindly release me data on a Friday afternoon, um, and we usually start printing on a Saturday afternoon, and by the following Friday we're shipping the pattern for the first one. Um, after that we're down to sort of five days. Certainly Renault look at what we're doing in additive to understand how they can apply additive in the future. It's not quite ready for them yet in the, the large quantities they require but we only make sixes. You know six to us is a production cycle so it's very easy for us to do this type of thing. Um, the expense is a bit less relevant to us than it, than it is to the automotive people. Um, but yeah, they are targeting how to do it, looking at what we're doing, the materials we're using, the way we're using them, the areas we can use them, and trying to learn from our, our mistakes and gain from our experiences.